Hi guys, welcome back. It has been a minute. This feels so weird to film. I haven't done a COVID corner update in like such a long time and I'm actually in a corner. I thought this would be a nice place for me to kind of have my COVID corners. I felt like this would be a good video to kind of start on because so much has happened since we last met. <laughs> I'm going to get straight into it, you know, once again, it's the COVID corner, so three things. Three major things have happened over the last, um, I'm going to keep this as short as possible, it's kind of just an update before I get back to um, normal programming. Yeah, what happened? Ah, so the first thing that happened was that my laptop, so at the beginning of October, I'd film um, a passive income report and my computer was acting really funny when I was editing and then it was acting really funny when I was uploading I've never had that and I've been on YouTube for about 10 years 10 years wow that sounds long no that's not right eight years yeah <laughs> nine years I've been on YouTube for about nine years and I've never ever experienced this where um, my video wasn't uploading it was doing something really weird it was like glitching out or something and I um, and my computer just updated the day before, like automatically. And I don't remember ever authorizing that, but it happened anyways. I have a MacBook Pro from 2012, back when I used to live in Korea. So it's it's really at, at the end of its lifetime, but I've brought it back multiple times. But anyways, after I tried to upload, it didn't work. So uh, I just got frustrated and I was like, you know what, I'm just, not, the video's not gonna be up. I was upset because obviously I wanted to get my upload up for the week and I couldn't. So I just closed the laptop and then the next day I tried to open it it wouldn't. It just gave me like this question mark with a folder sign and then like, I just since had so many issues with it. So I spent about two weeks trying to fix the laptop because I need a laptop to vid film videos and upload videos and all of my videos that I'd already filmed were on there as well as a bunch of other stuff. But anyways yeah so my laptop broke so I essentially couldn't fix it and I had to format the hard drive and I thought that would work and I could use it and I still can't. So right now I'm running it off of a hard drive and um, I have a uh, Mac OS Catalina running on a hard drive, on an external hard drive, and that's what's powering my laptop, so that's not gonna last forever. So initially I was waiting until I got monetized, so like that was my reward to myself. Um, when I get monetized, um, I would buy myself a MacBook Pro, and that's kind of what I've been looking forward to. So fingers crossed I get monetized before the end of the year, because I really need a new laptop. Um, yeah, and I don't know how long this, you know, bootleg version is gonna work right now. <laughs> Well, it's not bootleg, it's like, it's legit, but like, just the setup feels very bootleg, but yeah. So I'm gonna try, hopefully I can upload this, so I'm gonna try and make it that there's not too many edits to do. Anyways, on to the next thing. So my laptop's broken, essentially, and it's really upsetting. Like, my hard drive is pretty much toast, as far as I can tell. I spent a long time, like, I've brought this laptop back a few times from worse situations. So this one is the first one that's really stumped me. But yeah, moving on to the next thing that happened, a huge thing. Well, I didn't, uh, am I talking about this? A little bit. So I decided that I want to study something because I'm kind of going for a bit of a swerve. And um, yeah, I got a new interest um, that was born out of a need. And I've been thinking of like, I don't know, I've been enjoying it so far. Like I'm taking a Harvard, a Harvard online course and I've been really interested in it. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know why am I being so sh being so shady about it. Let me just tell you about it. And if I want to keep it in, I'll keep it in. If I don't, I'll take it out. So I'm taking the CS50 course on Harvard and um, it's a computer science course. And yeah, I'm learning like computer science and programming and coding. And yeah, I'm really fascinated by it. I don't know where it came from. I don't know. <laughs> well, I do know where it came from. Originally, it was because I wanted to um, to fix my blogs and to stop them from like crashing so much, so I wouldn't have to like download plugins. I wanted to just be able to build in like to like you know make this the, the system for my blogs to work and run sufficiently. And so like if there was any issues, which I've always had been able to just deal with them, but I just want to like build it from scratch. So yeah. And because my mum is also um, like getting into the online world, she wants a website made and it's really hard to kind of like help her with the setup she has and I'm kind of learning to like help her build her website too. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning a bit of like CSS and HTML on FreeCodeCamp and then on CS50 I'm learning pretty much everything. It's a bit of an introduction to computer science. So 
that's exciting i'll let you guys know how that goes i will be done at the end of the year um it's kind of really crap because this all happened when you know the laptop is like out of commission so i'm kind of behind a little bit well i'm not behind because it's self-paced but i'm behind for what i wanted to be i kind of wanted to just finish it like before you know the end of november but i don't think that's going to be possible so yes yeah, so i've been taking that for a few weeks um at this point it's been about a month but my computer's not been working for a couple of weeks Moving on to the other thing that happened, <laughs> the last and final update, um, which kind of ties all of it together, like, it's just been, it's been really tough. Anyways, uh, so I got concussion. <laughs> I got a concussion. Um, one day I was trying to, I opened my cupboard door, I bent down to pick up the dustpan and brush because I wanted to clean and I forgot I left the cupboard door open and I stood up and I smacked my head on the cupboard door and um everything was okay i felt i thought everything was okay um, <laughs> and then like a week later i decided to get all these crazy symptoms and like just the, my world felt like it was falling apart a bit and so i didn't know what was going on um then i thought oh crap do i have concussion because i'd forgotten that i'd hit my head um i mean i hear really hard it hurt a lot uh, but i kind of just forgot but yeah, so I, I did like, there's this thing called 111, it's, if you're not from the UK, it's like a, it's not emergency services, it's like the step down. So I did like the, you can kind of type in your symptoms sort of thing, and I did that, and then it told me to call um, 999. So I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. So instead I called a 111, and I, like, the lady went through all the stuff, and I was like, yeah, these are my symptoms. She was like, do you have this, do you have this? And uh, I kind of like, she was like, you don't want to have this, and she kind of led me away from saying some of the things that I did have some sort of symptoms of some things and I didn't want to say it because it would mean that I think she would have to call an ambulance and they'd come get me anyways long story short um I finally got through to my GP she was like call your GP get them to call you ASAP they wouldn't call me um and my mom like just called them my mom works in the NHS she, so she called my old uh because we've moved obviously so my gp is back where my mum lives so she called them because i couldn't i couldn't deal with it and so she called them and she was like you need to call my daughter like t as soon as possible like get a doctor to call her and so in the morning the doctor finally called me and he was like yeah i think you got post-concussion syndrome after i told her everything that happened like at that point when i called 111 it was really bad like time was like disappearing and <laughs> that sounds so crazy trust me i was losing my mind um like i was going i was like actually losing my mind not literally but like i was like losing my crap because i didn't know what's going on but yeah so <laughs> the doctor called and then he was like um yeah based off of everything you've told me i'm pretty sure you have post concussion syndrome and i he was like i'll send you over the um i'll send you over like a sheet like a website thing like the link to it and you can kind of go over it and it'll tell you things to do things to avoid etc etc um but it could last up to three months i'm like are you kidding me i literally just started a new course um i have like so many things to do and <laughs> it's just like this is just the worst timing ever so once i opened it and i read through all the symptoms like, oh my god that's literally everything that happened to me but on that website it's like it tells you it says Usually when people find out that they have it, it makes it a lot easier. And since then, since I read it, it was super true. Since I read it, it was, it's so much easier now, like, to manage and understand. Because um, when I didn't know what was happening, it just felt like everything was going wrong. But then after, now I know the symptoms and things that could potentially happen. Um, I'm, I feel a lot better and it doesn't affect me as much. I do get, like, migraines sometimes and headaches randomly. I never used to get headaches or migraines. Um yeah definitely a bit more anxious than i'm used to being <laughs> and yeah like the symptoms are they're ridiculous it's so many things that don't make sense until you put them together and understand that it's part of this thing and i was just like wow but yeah so that was another thing that happened after um before my computer broke down and after i started taking the course and it's just like those three things together have kind of been like the reason why i've been gone <laughs> And that's what this is really. So that's the COVID corner update. Um, I'm feeling, <coughs> I'm feeling a much better now. That's not COVID cough. That was just me clearing my voice, my throat. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. And um, hopefully I can bring you more videos. I, my concentration is a lot better. 
because uh, that's like if I, I wish I could read you the list it's just long it's, but you can google it if you are interested to know the symptoms but a lot of it is to do with concentration um like dizziness headaches uh, nausea the mood change mood swings anxiety depression like there's loads of things um that kind of fall under it so things that yeah that you could just symptoms you could potentially have and when I figured it out is when I was having a lot of them so wasn't great but we move and I'm here and I'm fine it's like really late I didn't address that I'm wearing a robe <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a robe this is my jalaba it was a gift and yeah I'm gonna go now I will see you guys very soon I just came back and I'm just really comfy in this which is why I'm wearing it because I just couldn't change I couldn't bother to change so I don't think I've ever filmed a video in a row before. This is the first time for everything. But I will see you guys soon I, with some new videos. I dropped something, don't know what it was. Oh, remote. Anyways, I hope you guys had a great week or will have a great week. I'm not sure when this, this will probably be up tomorrow. I'm not film. I'm not editing tonight. Um, hopefully I can edit this and get this out to you. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys had, have a great week and I will see you very soon with some new videos. So, watch this space. Oh yeah, and I need to refilm um, that passive income report, I think. So yeah, don't know. Uh, maybe I'll batch it into like a core thing and do it at the end of the year, because it could be a good time to actually like kind of go over everything. There's a few other videos I really want to film before then. So I'm either going to refilm it because I lost so many videos, but let's not talk about that. But <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to refilm it or I'm just not, I don't know. Anyways, take care guys.